But how many of you know that when you're born a king, when you know who you are, that even though circumstances around you may be bad, you're still a king. And you know you're a king. And if you look at circumstances, at the very least, you might be saying, well, yeah, that's the way things are now, but they're going to change. Why? Because this is not what I was born you know, to be. This is who I was born to be, and I will be that. And when Jesus walked on this earth, I can guarantee you, yes, he was meek. Uh, yes, he had all of the fruit of the Spirit, as we would read in Galatians 5. But at the same time, we have to remember, he was a king. And when he walked you know, through Galilee, he walked like a king. I can guarantee you, he carried himself like a king. He didn't carry himself with his head down. Oh, I'm just, you know, I, I don't really count. You know, I'm just, I'm just a, a lowly servant. No, he was a king. He had that royalty in him. And I can promise you, he had a sense of royalty. Why? Because at 12 years old, he said, don't you know I should be about my father's business? Where, where are you going to find me? You know, why would you be surprised I'd be here? And he was in there teaching the elders of Israel at 12 so you can know whenever he started his ministry, he walked through it. And it's like I saw him differently when I was meditating on this. That, and and it's, I started noticing differences and as I read the scripture. So I'm just going to go through this with you. But first off, we have to remember that he was a king. I'm just going to give you some of the notes. He was a king that reigned as a king while he was on earth. So the question is, how did he reign? Because if we are as he is, then we also have to know how he reigned. And if we're going to reign with him, then we're going to see this. Now watch. First off, we have to remember, as a king, now he was a preacher, he was a prophet, right? He was a rabbi, as they would say. But he preached the gospel of the kingdom. Why did he preach the gospel of the kingdom? Because he was the king of that kingdom. And he was explaining the kingdom that he was king over. And he had to tell them what it was because it wasn't being lived out at that time. So he was trying to explain to them. He's trying to get across to them. This is what it's like to live in my kingdom. I'm the king of this kingdom. And even whenever he sent out all of his disciples, his apostles, and they went out, he sent them into every town that he himself was going to go to. And he said, you go tell them. Now they were sent out as emissaries or what we call today heralds. And they would go out and say, this is the, the, the gospel of the kingdom. I'm telling you about the kingdom. And they said, and the king is going to be here in a few days. Why? Because he sent them to places he himself was going to go. So he sent them out, which was the common custom. When a king was going to go into an area, they would first send heralds, and they would fix everything and make sure everything's right. And that's what he did. He said, you go in and you preach the gospel of the kingdom. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils, freely you receive, freely give. And he said, go in there and fix everything so that when I show up, it will look like my kingdom, which means what? No sick. You get that? No, honestly, not even any poverty and in those areas. All of those things are his, uh, they're, they're evidences of his kingdom. Whenever the sick get healed, he said, then you know that the kingdom has come near you. Why? Because in his kingdom, those things don't exist. Why? Because that, in his kingdom, that's where his will is being done. Wherever his will is being done, that's where his kingdom is. And so, and notice, he preached the gospel of the kingdom. He taught the principles of the kingdom. And if you read the parables, those are all principles of how the kingdom operates. He demonstrated the kingdom. Now get this. He demonstrated the kingdom by executing righteousness and judgment for all that were oppressed. You get that? Now, that's, how, that's what he did. See, if I can ever get across to the church as a whole, that Jesus just wasn't just walking through and, oh, today's your day. You know, we think he had the Oprah ministry. Oh, today's your day. Oh, and you get a healing, and you get a healing, and, and, and now you get a deliverance. And that isn't how he operated. 
He, he walked, he came from heaven and walked on this earth and knew the difference between the two. And all he did was went about doing good and healing all that oppressed the devil because God was with him. What was he doing? He said, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And so what did he do? He told them to pray that and to live that way. So what did he do? He went about doing good, healing all oppressed the devil. He went about and just fixing everything that didn't look like heaven. So whenever he saw a blind person, what did he do? There's no blind in heaven. So he had to fix them so that his kingdom would be on earth as it is in heaven. Does that make sense? See, he wasn't just picking and choosing and he didn't heal and set free and deliver on a case-by-case -case basis. He came in and found the problem and fixed it. And the problem was blindness and the problem was this disease or that disease. And he just fixed it. It didn't matter what it was. Why? Because this is his kingdom. You know, it's like my house, okay? In my house, things are done the way I want them to be done. I'm not asking my next-door neighbor, hey, how do you think I ought to do this? And if my next-door neighbor came over and said, here's how I think you ought to do this, I'd probably be polite and say, thank you very much. And next time, I, you know, I, well, I want your opinion, I'll ask for it. Why? Uh, you go do that in your house. Here's how we do it in my house. And that's what Jesus was doing. He was going about and doing things the way things are done in his kingdom, in his house. And he said, in my house, ain't no sick. Ain't going to be no sick in my house. Why? Because I don't like sickness. So ain't going to be no sick in my house. Uh, poverty, I don't like poverty. Why? Because it makes people do things that aren't, aren't good. And he said, so there's not going to be any poverty there. You understand? So he went about doing good. He was a king walking through this earth as a king.